a head-to-head -head render test on 1080p video, a 2013 iMac 21.5 inch kind of base model versus the M1 Air base model. Who's gonna win? Let's find out. All right, welcome back to the channel. So what I'm gonna do today is I have two systems here of a lot different ages. So we have the M1 MacBook Air over here. I think it's you know a year or two old and it's about 900, 900 bucks to a thousand bucks. The M1 chip, Apple Silicon right here. Over here I have a 2013 21.5 inch iMac base model. It's got the Eris Pro 5200 uh, for the graphics. And so this thing here I picked up for 148 bucks. You can check out some of my other videos. I'll show some pictures here really quickly while I'm talking. But I did one where I just showed you the quality of this for 148 bucks. And then the next video gave you general performance for the 148 bucks. But today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you head to head in a real world test the M1 versus the 2013 iMac, and, uh, but I'm gonna do 1080p. So if you're only doing 1080p, I might do a 4K next in a couple weeks or something, so stay tuned for that, subscribe. Right now I'm just doing 1080p, 4K will be coming soon. So here's the videos though, um, and I basically, what I, you know, again, a lot of people go after me because they say, never buy an Intel Mac, and that's not what this is all about. And there's a lot of advantages to getting the new SOS and stuff. This can only be upgraded over here to Catalina, I believe. Um, and this over here obviously has the newest OS. Even the versions of iMovie are upgraded to the newest and they might not even be the same. That's not what this test is all about. I don't want things to be exactly equal. If you were to buy this system right now on eBay or something versus this system and all you did was 1080p video editing, I'm gonna show you guys the timeline and it's even in iMovie, but this is just the way I do it. And mine are very simple, but I'll show you what they are here and they're exactly matching. And then I'm gonna render them in 1080p and I'm gonna use basically high quality and, and better compression, you know, just to get this thing, you know, so it's a good video. And we're gonna see what these times come back at. So let me share my screen here without further ado, just to show you what these both look like. And then we'll kind of go ahead and render them and you guys will figure out what this is. All right, so over here you can see, this is the 2013 iMac. And let me just show you really quickly. This is the video card it has in it, or it's actually, I think it's shared, but it's Intel Eris Pro 5200 here. I think it's 1.5 gigabytes of memory. And so that's what it comes with. It's nothing high end or anything like that, but it does make a difference with the IMAX I've noticed with any of my rendering. I use a 2017 and it just renders really quickly. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. That's what that has. So here's the video you can see over here. And I just want to show people up close. I'm just going to go ahead and you can see this is exactly, I made it exactly the same as the one over here. Um, and you can see that I have basic, you know, it's all 1080p video. Uh, and I'll get into what exactly that is in a second. It's got some sound down here, a sound clip. It's got different clips that come in. Obviously, you can see dual 1080p video all the way down. Got a couple titles in here. I just didn't make them. I just made them really quickly. Um, and then I have transitions. I have a bunch of transitions in here. There's one there. There's one there. Fade. So basically, this is a video, again, that's about, let me see, five minutes. It's 4.59 on both of these, so about five minutes. So I'm going to do a render to see how long this one takes to render out. And then this one over here. So that's that one over there. Now look over here. This is the M1 Mac, um, MacBook Air. Again, exactly the same thing over here. You can see the timeline is exactly the same. I just didn't extend it yet. I made sure everything, this is again, four minutes and 59 seconds as far as how long this video is, 1080p. And so when I render these things, I just wanna show you. I went to export file. I did quality high and I did compress better quality on both of them. And, uh, you know, obviously I want to make sure the test is accurate there. So I did both the exact same compression and everything like that. So at the end of the day, what we're going to do is we're going to run it on this over here, the M1, kind of the powerhouse versus this over here. And we're going to kind of learn, is it really worth spending the money on, on this system when you can get this system if all you're going to do is 1080p? Throw out all the other stuff people are going to yell at me for. The OS is not upgradable. Security, this, that. I'm just saying this is a fun test. Let's just put them head to head. Let's go. Here are the results. So the M1 MacBook Air right here, the base model again, I guess I didn't say that, but it's eight gigs of RAM only in this system over here. Um, it's running the base model. Um, one minute and 47 seconds to render that five minute roughly uh, 1080p video. So it's one minute and 47 seconds. So less than half that time, quite a bit less than half that time. And uh, so that's pretty quick. So obviously that's, that's a, you know, it's very quick to render any video, even 4K, but that's pretty quick. Now over here, so what do you get? Is this gonna be 20 minutes, 10 minutes? I mean, is it a huge difference? It came back at 
two minutes and 37 seconds. So two minutes and 37 seconds over here, 147 over here. Comes out to 46%, 47% difference, but it's really only less than a minute. And so when you're doing a 10 minute video, it's gonna be less than two minute difference between this system and this system when rendering out 1080p. It's different probably with 4K, which we'll do a video on. This is a real world test. I didn't actually change anything, or I mean, I didn't, I made sure nothing was running in the background. I shut down all the applications before I ran it. And we have about a 46, 47% increase. But when you're talking 1080p, you know, they're both super fast. This system can do a five minute video in two minutes and 37 seconds. And that means it's basically like a 10 minute video would be what, five, five minutes and 30 seconds. It's, it's like half the time of the video it would render in. So when you're rendering a lot of videos every week, maybe two or three, we're talking minutes of difference between these two systems, minutes. And uh, is that worth the money? Again, you have to ask yourself the question. This is a great system. The screen's bigger. Obviously, this is smaller. You can get an external monitor. This is a better system. OS, security, everything else that goes into it. This is going to be better at other things it's better optimized for. Over here, again, take it with a grain of salt. I just want to give people real-world examples out there and uh, let people kind of make up their own decisions on if this is a worthwhile video or not. So stay tuned for the 4K coming. Maybe not my next video, but in a couple. And then we'll basically wrap all this up. And I like doing tests on these old systems, so stay tuned for that on my channel as well because that's what my channel is all about. I have like 500 Apple videos now or something like that. So check out my channel, my past videos. Try to make stuff that's a little bit different than kind of the mainstream out there just because I can't afford what they do. Um, so hopefully this is good. Check it out. 2013 iMac over here. Pretty powerful. Peace.